Okay, the U.S. estimates over 21.3 thousand dead uh, at the on from yesterday or from the t reports of the 12th, um, and at midnight 12 a.m. on the 14th, Premier Scott Moe of the the Premier of Saskatchewan, Canada, uh, announced on Monday that they have hit. 300 confirmed cases of COVID in Saskatchewan with 187 have been reported as recovered showing that the numbers continue to show what they're doing may be working um, and uh, and the premier of that of that province is is working on a plan to reopen Saskatchewan I uh, locally Homeless camps have been removed from the Welland Canal, uh, in the in the uh, the parkways along the Seaway, um, the Seaway Transit line through the canals there. Uh, and reports in Ontario, Canada, have four hundred and twenty-one new cases, and seventeen more deaths, as reported on the thirteenth. More than eight hundred sick kids appealing for help uh, prompt one Ontario city to open two new emergency care centers and at 1 p.m. since uh, Toronto time Ontario's premier announced an extension for Ontario's state of emergency by another 28 days you can check that out online and all the sources restrictions of non-essentials has resulted in a steep decline in public transit and ridership and revenue hurting in an already un underfunded, unappreciated essential service. Uh, and most buses and passenger ride uh, uh, rail cars have already begun their transitions to those green powered en electric engines uh, for a few years now. And no doubt this headline reviewer. Uh, no, no doubts to this headline reviewer, local de delivery and personal travel have become, if yet unofficially, essential service industries. Um, as having multiple drivers and companies can reduce the number of people each driver comes into direct or indirect contact with, in less, uh, with less risk to those ne necessary supply runners like delivery people uh, for food and medical drop-offs and those Ubers and pr private taxi services which d does explain the decline in the public transit but do remember there are some people that still rely on that heavily and they are essential services but be certain if you must go out and use public transit even if you're in an Uber, uh, that you are in 100% perfect health when you leave the house. And to help prevent as, as much as possible, to prevent further spread of this spring illness of any other, of any kind from spreading. As well, there was a large report of, uh, Doctors and nurses in Toronto signing an open letter to protect the homeless and there were hundreds of doctors and nurses signing this um, this open letter to the government to uh, supply more aid to those suffering that don't don't even have homes to go to and I will get into more about local action on that because Niagara region has been putting them uh, put it, putting putting those homeless into uh, motels, which goes along the guidelines of how things have been working. So let's uh, focus on that and uh, keep fighting this virus as well as we can. Uh, Canada's numbers seem to be doing much better than some countries that have been struck by this. So let's keep at healing people and keeping those frontline workers supported with everything we have especially those donation centers for people that can't afford to keep themselves as healthy as others thank you